What is good, Ape Nation? It's Stock J back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to give you guys an AMC squeeze update and talk about the crazy things going on with AMC stock right now. I'm going to talk about why AMC's uh, overall dark pool volume is starting to drop and what does this actually mean. I'm also going to talk about what's going on with AMC and GME fundamentally, as we have some crazy, crazy, crazy good deals that just came out that make me very bullish for each of them in the future. I'm also going to talk about other pieces of data and what the SEC is doing, as we have some crazy, crazy, crazy good Ortex numbers that make me very, very bullish for AMC. AMC. Now, before I say anything about AMC, the Ortex numbers, or what's going on with the fundamentals, I do have to mention some very important things first. First off, I'm not a financial planner. This is all for educational purposes only, so please do not take this as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this, and not only benefits me, benefits the entire Ape community as a whole. And the last things, if you guys can, please check out the Mumu link down below and in the description. If you do sign up for Mumu and deposit $100, you're not only going to qualify for up to five free stocks, each with up to $3,500, but you're also going to have the opportunity to win up to $200,000 as Momo is giving away uh, $200,000 for the new year. So if you want this chance, guys, check out the link down below, put in a hundred bucks to get your chance. And with that out of the way, Let's get on with the video. So anyways, when it comes to AMC, we had a pretty interesting day. We're once again still in this falling wedge pattern. We're down about 2.87% for the day. We are kind of trading sideways as of right now, but it does look like we're getting close to the end of this falling wedge. Now with AMC, guys, I know technical analysis isn't always going to be perfect, but one thing that's interesting is we are in a very, very bullish trend, right? This looks very, very bullish once the reversal starts, and the market is very, very manipulated, believe it or not. So let's talk about this right here, guys look at the off-lit exchange volume it's only at 46 percent today now that's very suspicious considering this right over here we're seeing all these crazy things going on with the sec starting to regulate you know amc gme the market crazy things does this mean that they're finally going to cause the amc squeeze the answer is i do believe they're going to play a role but i don't necessarily think that we're there just yet because their latest regulations haven't like been too crazy in my opinion but i'm going to talk about that in a little bit more detail in my next video but i just want to put it out that they, they are starting to make some change so it is a very weird coincidence that we're starting to see amc's uh off the exchange volume drop it's only at like 46 percent it was typically in the 50 to 60 to 70 percent range or even higher than that sometimes so it's it's pretty crazy to see it below 50 percent and it, i don't even know if this is just a coincidence guys it could be a good sign now anyways when it comes to amc guys and gme both of them are getting better fundamentally here and there so look at amc guys we have new data that just came out for the year 2021 as amc's estimated total revenue for the q4 of 2021 was about 1.2 billion dollars that's right and they're doing really really well and one of the things that's interesting about amc is they have an available liquidity as of december 31st 2021 to add about 1.8 billion dollars this means that amc has a lot of cash at hand they could definitely use this to expand their business get better fundamentally maybe improve whatever they want to improve whether it's the popcorn industry or the nft marketplace i mean they are killing it guys and they make me very very bullish going into the future now it's not just amc though but look at this right here remember guys we have a lot of big movies coming out for 2022 we have the 355 and there are tons of other things out there guys there's a new scream movie uh, moonfall we also have i believe a new uh, batman movie that's coming out we have uncharted with uh, uncharted with uh tom holland i mean tons of amazing movies are coming out so this sh should be a very good year for amc now another thing about amc is the fact that gamestop is doing better too fundamentally i want to talk about this just quickly just to give you guys a better idea of the fact that the short thesis is absolutely insane so here's the thing the gamestop has basically closed a very very good deal with immutable x for the nft marketplace so they're partnering with this blockchain startup right immutable x and they're basically going to launch a uh non uh a, a token basically right and and they're they're doing this basically to take advantage of the nft marketplace and also provide funding for different projects right that's going to provide about a hundred million dollars worth of funding and that's going to be very very cool in my opinion so this partnership guys is huge it's a layer two partnership that's very awesome 
because of the fact that GameStop is, is getting its hands in the NFT marketplace, which is a booming market. So people always talk about how, look, if, if you want to be successful, they often recommend getting into something early, right? And that's just one way a person can become successful. There are different ways too. But for example, people say, oh, you should have bought into, I don't know, a Bitcoin many, many years ago, like seven, eight, nine, ten years ago. And at the same time, people talk about other things like that. So the NFT marketplace, in my opinion, is going to be so huge, not to mention the fact that they're using blockchain technology and GameStop is entering this before it explodes. So this is going to be huge, absolutely huge for GameStop. But anyways, I'm not going to go into too much detail about this. I just want to put it out there that, look, AMC and GME have very, very good fundamentals. They're both killing it and they're getting better and better and better. I mean, AMC is going to be profitable very soon, in my opinion, and we could even see a dividend come out sooner than later. It's very, very awesome. Now, here's the crazy thing about AMC. You know, AMC is doing so well fundamentally. Yet, if you look at the Ortex data, we're still seeing an almost all-time high for short interest, which makes me super, super bullish. Check this out right here. The estimated short interest right now it's at 21.63%. That's crazy, guys. Even without any synthetics, guys, over 100 million AMC shares have to be bought back. That's insane. Days to cover, it's going up again, 2.6%. The cost of borrow is going up once again. It's up 2.93%, which means that it's becoming way, way, way more expensive to borrow or lend out AMC shares. Now, on top of that, guys, the utilization is starting to rise to up 1.32%, which is a good sign. It's in unison with the cost to borrow going up. Those are good signs for AMC, guys. I'm very, very bullish because of this data, especially the short interest being this high. So what does this mean for AMC going forward? Look, there are big players out there that have been loading up on shares of AMC, and this means that they're not necessarily going long on AMC. They could be lending out more shares. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see more nuances in the uh, you know um, amount of shares available to borrow. But here's the thing that's very interesting to me. If I go down right over here to look at the options data, there are currently about 87,000 call options that are out of the money for the 11th, which would be this Friday, and there's a, a ton of them. A ton of them for the 18th of February and also the 18th of March, guys. So during those times, uh, it would be very interesting if we saw AMC see a big run. And I, I don't necessarily know how that's going to play out, but we do have their earnings report coming out in early March. So that could be a very big sign for the future. But anyways, when it comes to technical analysis, guys, look, technical analysis is not always going to be perfect. But based off this, guys, it does look super, super, super bullish once we get into that big reversal. But as of right now... As of right now, we're still in this falling wedge pattern. We're still respecting it. So as long as we keep respecting it, guys, it's going to be a matter of time before we see the big run up. As of right now, we're probably going to trade sideways. We could continue this for another week, maybe another two weeks. But eventually, I do see a huge move to the upside, especially with the new earnings report that's coming out. I think it's going to be pretty huge. And that could be a very, very bullish catalyst. There are all sorts of bullish catalysts coming out. And I can't wait for what the future holds. So I can't wait for the time when the market allows mid to small cap stocks to really, really run up because I think AMC and GME are going to rally and they're going to rally really hard. So we're just waiting for that, guys. Just be patient. This is still a very good buying opportunity. And I don't necessarily see this as a bad thing because this is another good opportunity for me personally to buy more shares and wait it out because I'm still very, very bullish and the squeeze is still on the table. Nothing has changed. That's what I have for this one, guys. I thank each and every one of you for listening and I'll see you in the next one. AMC to the moon and peace out.